Did you go to Catholic school growing up? Not a day. No, no. Yeah, not a day. And here I've been championing this thing for um, almost 20 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I went to a Catholic school. I grew up in Baltimore, uh, and I went to the same Catholic school that my dad went to, you know, high school. Uh, and we went to, like, Catholic kind of, you know, elementary, middle school before that, uh, but the, the, the high school. So I was always... I'm fascinated by that too, because I think there's, there is a difference. There's a difference between when you go to kind of these Catholic schools, particularly people say, oh, private, public, it's even more different than that. You know, when you're going to kind of the Catholic schools, particularly where I grew up, Baltimore, I didn't realize this till I left. It's a very Catholic city, uh, historically, probably less so now, but still it's just like, that was very big. There were so many Catholic, you know, high schools, middle schools around that area. And I just wanted to ask you, and again, this, you know, we don't need definitive answers, just Doug's thoughts on this. You know, what do you think you get out of a Catholic or a religious school that you don't get out of a public school or even just kind of a non-denominational private? Well, I mean, just bring faith into it for a second. You know, I think there's there's some points where you, you teach it all the way up to a point where you're like, well, no, well what's left? You know, and I think I think being able to be open um, about a faith is a big difference, you know, between those. But, you know, we're, we're going to focus um, a lot on culture and we're going to focus a lot on character. Yes. And, we're, you know, we're going to focus a lot on um, putting citizens out in the world that are hopefully ma making the world a better place, you know. And, um, you know, I'm a public school kid and I think all those things are possible there too. But I think it's particularly um, interesting that we're, you know, we are, we're not held back, you know. Yeah. From, from discussing those things and mor morality and and every, everything else, I think I think that's great. I also I also think it's totally different when people are paying to go to school, yes, and when they're not, and the, and their their level of commitment too is significantly different. Um, and their even the kids like commitment to their parents, you know, for making that investment and such like that. So I, re I really I really do think it's you know phenomenal <laughs> phenomenal system yeah yeah i like that you said character too because i think that that's something you know i try to describe people that did i went to an all-boys catholic high school and it was called calvert hall shout out to anybody listening there with that uh yeah i'm very grateful for that and when i try to describe it to people they're like oh what was it like going to an all-boys kind of catholic high school and i always when i describe it i said the best i could do is kind of a military-esque camaraderie not you know the kind of strictness that you would need although there was some of that it's just the kind of camaraderie the brotherhood that you're kind of you're brought into this kind of brotherhood and i think with the alumni associations particularly you know my the school i went to is very old you know started in the 1800s there in baltimore and has been around for a long time and the alumni association is very loyal you know to uh to what you get out of it. Even when you're young, you don't quite understand what you're doing there, you know, why they make you put your tie up and stuff, why they make you, you know, follow the rules. And then when you get a little bit older, you, you look back and I think almost everyone I've talked to that went there, that looked back, has that sense of pride in being a part of something, you know, like bigger than just, oh, I went to the local school. It's, and I don't know, I'm just fascinated by that concept. And like you said, character, morality, there's kind of, yeah, of course you could do that in any institution, any school, but like when you your hands are almost tied a little bit. And I think like, you know, the slogan at my high school was uh, men of faith, men of intellect, men of integrity. That's what their like mission statement was. Is they're trying to make people of good character. I don't know. I think things even like the teachers could put their hands on you and it wasn't like a lawsuit liability. You know, like if you were acting up, the teachers would grab you by your tie, you know, jerk you into their thing. They're like, what did you say? You yeah. know, like kind of a uh, not quite nun slapping the ruler, like, you know, <laughs> type thing. But it was still like that, like having an older man that is a good care of good character whipping you into shape almost being like, that's not how you behave. You know, that's not how you react to a situation like this. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's not our school, but no. but, that, <laughs> right. no, but yeah. that's certainly certainly how a lot of people <laughs> view these schools. But uh, yeah, I mean, you know, our, ours is um, ours is co-ed and. If you're hearing this, it's because you are listening to the free public feed of Heavy Board to get complete, uncensored uninterrupted full access to this podcast 
Become a subscriber at patreon.com slash heavy board. That's right. Heavy board is made possible by subscribers like you. For less than one cup of coffee per month, you will receive private access to uncensored full length episodes, jerk shop, heavy bonus content, subscribers only AMA episodes, bonus extended interviews, and more. Come join the conversation today at patreon.com slash heavy board.